In this video, we're going to learn more about prefixes. It's basically to simplify the way of writing very big or very small numbers. Over here, we have a list of prefixes that are commonly used for O-level physics. And let's go through the factor of each of them. For giga, it's times 10 to the power of 9. Mega, times 10 to the power of 6, like million. Kilo, is times 10 to the power of 3. Deci times 10 to the power of minus 1 Centi times 10 to the power of minus 2 Milli times 10 to the power of minus 3 And Micro times 10 to the power of minus 6 And lastly, Nano times 10 to the power of minus 9 And you can see that there's actually a pattern 963 from the top and 963 from the bottom And here's minus 1, minus 2 And that might help you to remember and another thing I want you to take note is you can draw a line here. This you can treat like a baseline, and above the baseline, all these prefixes are considered big, and below the baseline here, all these are considered smaller prefixes. Okay, this will come in handy when you do the unit conversion later on. On the right here, we have some common examples of physical quantity and their respective units. For example, length, you have gigameter, megameter, kilometer, and so on. And of course, decimeter, you seldom see it, but you can actually use the prefix deci for length also. So whenever you see the m in meters, and the m in mass, the m in seconds, and the m in the ampere, take note, they are all referring to the same prefix milli so it's times 10 to a power minus 3 which is the same and another thing i want to bring attention to is this column of the symbol here for the units so take note this is not si unit because as you know the si unit for mass is kilogram not gram but this column basically has only a single letter and this is referring i'm referring this is what i refer to the base unit here and do you re recall if it's above the base here so like your gigameter megameter kilometer these are considered bigger units and the deci onwards these are considered smaller units so one thing i need you to take note is later when you are going to do conversion when you for example you're converting megameter to meter you must know that you're converting a bigger units to a smaller unit so you need to times Okay, times what? So for whether you times 100, times 1000, or times uh, 1 million, so it depends on the prefix. So we'll go to that later on. So likewise, if you're going to change meter to, let's say, millimeter, it's still from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, so you times. So in this case, basically, okay, you times 1000, okay? And likewise, if you're going to change millimeter, to meter okay this is now a smaller unit you're going to convert to a bigger unit so you need to divide and if you're going to change meter to mega meter so you are changing from a smaller unit to a bigger unit so you divide so in general big to small units i need you to remember you should times times 10 times 100 times 1000 or whatever okay or when you're changing a small to a big units okay you're going to divide okay whether it's 10 or 100 all depends on the power the of the factors okay